Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to connect your Steam Deck to your computer for transferring files. I didn't know this, but transferring files between Windows and Linux is apparently a problem. So, there is no direct way to do this. Uh, there are two methods, but uh, for both we'll need to go into desktop mode. And here's how we're going to do it from the power menu. Switch to desktop mode. Okay, the first and most simple way to do this is to use a third party application. I know it's not ideal and you'll need to install one also on your PC. We're going to use this. Uh, but I think this is the most simple method and it doesn't imply uh, knowing. Um, uh, user access accounts, uh, giving uh, user um, permissions, sharing folders over the network. You're going to from, you saw this from the um, application launcher, I uh, went on discover. Here you can search for um, Warpinator. You can see you can see it over here because I um, have already installed it. Install it. After you have installed it, you will be able to find it here in all the applications. Launch it. And if you have uh, started it also on your PC, it will uh, launch here. You can see my desktop PC with the internal IP is here and now I can receive uh, files from uh, Winpinator from the PC. I so you can also send files from the Steam Deck to the PC, for example like my backup of GTA 4 before I modded it and I want for example to keep it on my PC to save uh, disk space, I can also use this. So it's pretty useful, you don't need to, to configure much, you just need to install both your uh, uh, Warpinator and Winpinator on the Steam Deck, on the Steam Deck and uh, on your PC correspondingly. And uh, being connected to the same network, it will do the magic by itself. If it's not connected to the same network, of course, it will not work. And of course, you can, uh, this Warpinator has a default folder. You can set it, it's now Warpinator, and it can be found uh, in the home uh, of your, uh, ah, look here, Warpinator, and you can change it if you want, in the home of your Steam Deck, you can choose any other file from here, folder from here. So Warpinator also has a Windows version called Winpinator, of course, and you will also need to download this on your uh, local computer. Very important, it needs to be connected to the same local network, otherwise this will not work. I downloaded the uh, 64-bit installer. And of course, after this, you are going to launch the Winpinator. And now go to your Steam Deck and launch the previously installed Warpinator. And as you can see, it appeared here on my Winpinator. And you can um, connect to it and send individual files or folders if you need to send all the folder. And uh, on the Warpinator I have shown you there is a default folder, you will find it uh, under home uh, in desktop mode on the Steam Deck and that's where the files you want to transfer will be stored. So this is uh, it, this is about it for this method using a third party installer. You can also uh, use a SMB folder. 
Here is a, something a little bit more complicated to achieve. Uh, you need to know a bit of what we are doing because it involves um, user rights and uh, stuff like this. Uh, what you need to do is uh, pick a folder you need to, f to share over the network. Be careful because this uh, can be accessed uh, from anyone inside your local network. I have named it Steam Deck to send, of course. <laughs> and you need to go to sharing. As you can see, now it shows that it's shared, and this is the path you're going to use on any network device to access this file. Uh, but if you don't, uh, let me show you on a new folder. Let's say the PS Vita folder. Okay. So sharing. As you can see now, share is not activated. Advanced sharing, you need to be an admi administrator for this. Share folder, you can name it anything else, but it's useful to well, leave it like this. Everyone, we're going to remove it because we don't want everyone to access our folder, we're going to add our um, user. Let me try with my email address. And now it has found my user, Christoph Schiller, allow full control to be able to also um, move files from uh, one location or other and also delete them. And as you can see now it's uh, desktop PS Vita. Uh, it's accessible like this also on our PC because of course and this is the content uh, for the files uh, for the folder I have shared now. Uh, I can also you show you the other one with the Steam Deck beta. As you can see, it's uh, backslash backslash the name of the computer slash name of the uh, backslash name of the folder. And here is the two files I have um, available in this location for now. And of course, uh, in order to access it for not only from uh, in order to access it not only from the Steam Deck or any other uh, device connected to your network because it's not Steam Deck exclusive, you will use this link here for this folder, and you'll be able to download file from this or copy, but, but you'll copy it through the network or put files in this. It was useful uh, for me because I wanted to mod uh, GTA 4 to see how the snow mod um, uh, is going to look on um, GTA 4. But it's also useful to mod any game that has no Steam Workshop available to it and use uh, Nexus mods or any other location to to install the mods directly into your um, game folder. I will show you a different tutorial on how to do this. I will link this tutorial in order to be able to give access to the files, to get access to the files and uh, to move to backup if needed. You can also uh, mod uh, the game without using the network, of course, if you have enough space on your Steam Deck. You can always um, download the mod, extract it, and uh, write it over your game folder. Okay, GTA 4. Uh, mod is not available. I think I got it from Moddable. Okay, so I got the latest. So, so this is about it for sharing. Uh, files from and to the Steam Deck. Okay, so for uh, the second method, you don't actually need 
any third party programs you just need a dolphin file manager and click on network here you can enter the Samba address I have shown you earlier how to configure on your uh, Windows desktop PC after you have entered uh, correctly the name of the computer you have the shared folder on you need to if you have a Windows account you need to use the email address associated to your Windows account uh, otherwise you can use the name of the local account that's what I said it's a bit more difficult and very important you must not have been activated if you have been activated it will not work I, I have dis disabled the pin just for this uh, tutorial uh, and you can see I have accessed my computer now and uh, the folder I want is right here in uh, um, the Steam Deck and of course I can transfer files also from the Steam Deck like my um, GTA 4 backup file the Targs archive I can uh, put it here and have it and save space in case I needed to go back to the version before modding it so okay it's not straightforward have to tinker with it that's why people say on the Steam Deck you need to tinker stuff if you want it to work but then the result uh, is that I have uh, managed to mod GTA 4 and uh, I will show you how it looks modded and of course a more extensive uh, video with over Liberty City and uh, how the gameplay changes. Thank you very much, I hope you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Bye bye.